I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to calculate the remainder. Now, if you are comfortable with how the process of long division works, hopefully calculating the remainder will be pretty straightforward as well, because generally speaking, long division is the best way to figure out the remainder, and it's always going to be the last number standing, if you will. So let's do a long division problem, and you'll see how to calculate the remainder that way. So suppose you want to find 165, let's just say divide by 14. Now, to transform into a long division problem, as you're aware, 14 goes on the outside, 165 goes on the inside. So just treat it like you would a long division problem and the remainder will take care of itself at the very end. So 14 does not go into one, but 14 goes into 16 once. So one times 14, that's gonna be 14. Do the subtraction, 16 minus 14 is gonna be two. Bring down the five, of course. And then 14 goes into 25 one time. So one times 14 is gonna be 14. Subtraction, you're going to have 11. Now, that's as far as you can go, of course, and so you can do it two ways. You can do remainder 11, which is the formal way of remainder, or some folks have opted to write the remainder over the divisor. So you can think of it as 11 rem remainder 11 or 11 and 11 14s. But the bottom line is calculating the remainder is the number that's left standing when the division is complete. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's a brief tutorial on how to calculate the remainder.